everyone and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Analyst. We are in Chapter 1 and looking at 3.2 Specification Based Techniques. The next technique is about state transition testing which we again know from the foundation level already and the state transition testing is all about creating the state transition diagram of a particular scenario which divides a particular scenario in which showcases basically the different states or different transitions between them. This representation is basically known as the state transition diagram which you can see on the screen right now which generally represents the various states and different transitions possible between these states and they all are named properly appropriately to determine what kind of activities are happening. A particular state transition diagram shows all valid transitions only. That means that if there is anything missing, it is actually called as invalid or the whatever transitions are being shown in the diagram are valid transitions. In advanced level, we will be understanding something beyond that where we will understand how one switch or zero switch or two switch, these kind of uh, steps can be done or activities can be performed on state transition diagram. Let's look at it in more detail. So let's understand more about the same with help of this particular diagram here. Uh, this diagram, we'll look at a sample question which is uh, this diagram is taken from. But before that, let me just give you a quick understanding about this diagram that there's an application which actually allows your claim system to be requested. So you send the details and it is accepted by the management and further activated for processing. Once the processing is activated, if it finds less details or no details about the claim, then it might be removed to disputed and from disputed it might be closed once the details are furnished. If in case not, then activated, all the details are there, then it will move to closed state following that. Following that, we can once the close, uh, everything gets closed, then it will be removed from the system at the bottom here. Uh, at some reason, maybe from the close, if you want to revoke it and you want to apply fresh, then it can only be uh, reversed to accepted state. Now, when you talk about switching, like what exactly switch or like when you say zero switch, one switch and two switch and so on, uh, it always requires an initial state where you will basically start from. So say, for example, in our case, it is activated. So if you're taking starting at activated, by following zero switch. Now when you say zero switch, it means you can take one step and see where all you can go starting at the origin. So for us, the origin is activated and by taking one step by following the transitions here, there are transitions which are possible as activated to accepted, activated to disputed, activated to close and activated to activated. So now we see that there are four transitions possible with help of one uh, sorry zero switch zero switch means by taking one step from the origin and where all you can go following the transitions so let me just quickly clear uh, the okay so now we are moving to the next one or where we uh, let me just take a different color this time and say say for example when you're talking about two switch so when you say two switch, or sorry, before that, we will talk about one switch, which means that uh, when you take two steps, you call it as one switch. So a starting point is origin is activated. By taking two steps means activated, accepted, and back to activated. So you are taking two steps, you come back to this. Again, activated, disputed, activated. This is two steps. Activated, activated, back to activated, activated, closed, activated, and activated, closed, accepted, activated, accepted, closed. So <coughs> these are the various possibilities which can happen with help of two steps. Similarly, if you're asked with two switch, it means by taking three steps, what all paths can be followed in the diagram. So this is what similarly it can proceed till and switch. But generally in the examination, you will be asked whether it's a zero switch, one switch or maximum two switch, not beyond that. 
So similarly, let's look at the next one, uh, the question of the same diagram and understand what we can really expect in the examination here. So here is a typical question about the same. Uh, when an employee requests payment of a claim for his or her health insurance, this request follows the sequence of states shown in the diagram for being requested until it is closed and removed. If information is missing or changed, the claim may be moved back to an earlier state to prevent payment. There are following restrictions if a claim in state accepted has been closed. It can only be restored to the same state accepted. If a claim in state activated has been closed, it can only be restored to state activated. Starting from activated, so this is the point where you generally mention that what is the main step to be taken. What is the number of zero switches? So that means by taking one step transitions and what is the number of uh, allowed one switches? So if you talk about zero switch, just one of we understood that by taking one step, what all transitions are possible. So this is one here, and there's one here, there's one here, and there's one here. Okay, so by taking zero switch, we have four transitions, so we got one option. And by one switch, we have all possible things which you need to look into. Uh, let me just try marking as much as possible and see what exactly we come out with. So, activated, accepted, activated, uh, then we have activated, accepted, and then closed, activated, disputed, activated, activated, disputed, and closed, then activated, closed, removed, activated, closed, disputed, activated, closed, and back to accepted, then activated, activated, closed, activated, activated, accepted. So you can try all these possibilities, which will finally come to number nine, where we'll have nine transitions possible. So you need to sit patiently and try each of these and put them on the paper and make sure that not, no transitions are being repeated. Then you will finally come up with your uh, right answer on the screen here. So the right answer for this question is between uh, B and E. B is for zero switch and E is for uh, the one switch option. By taking two steps, what all transitions can take place. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have any more queries, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to assist you. Uh, till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding. And uh, thanks for watching the video team. Happy learning.